What's up guys, welcome to your 89th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're going to build a simple browser, um, get that going. Uh, what I've done is I've created again a class called Simple Browser and an XML file called Simple Browser. I kind of set up just a basic layout, an edit text here with a go button and then we got a go back, a go forward button, a refresh button and a clear history button. So those are kind of the basic concepts we're going to go through here um, in the next tutorial or two. So the first thing we need to do is have a web view. And the web view allows us to kind of surf the internet. It kind of gives us a, a view according to um, whether we have an XML file we want to load, or I'm sorry, HTML file we want to load up, or if we just want to use kind of um, a URL. So we need to set that up. So again, I kind of... You guys can set up your uh, layout however you want for the most part, but uh, our back button I just put called B back, forward button B forward, um, B refresh, and B history, and then for edit text I have uh, ET URL, and for the button I have the reference uh, B go. Um, that's for the go button. And then below that we're going to just set up our edit text. Or I'm sorry, text uh, web view. So um, it's pretty simple. Just say web view. I mean, and then we just need to set that up for Android. Um, layout width is going to be equal to fill parent and Android layout height can fill parent because we're taking up everything else that's available here and then we're also what's going on there we're also going to give it an ID so we're going to say oops at plus forward at plus ID forward slash uh, web view browser or something like that And we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much good to go here with the tutorial. Um, so as you can see, here's our web view. Actually, that's going to load up our website and such like that. Um, so now let's go into the first thing we need to do is we need to go into the manifest and give us the permission to use the internet. So we're going to go into the manifest, go to permissions, add a permission, uses permissions, and then over here uh, we're going to search for one called internet right here so that'll allow us to kind of use the internet uh, um, pretty obvious there and we're just going to save it and then we have our wake lock internet and set wallpaper so far our permissions for this activity now what we need to do is we need to go into the the java code and we're going to set up that reference as always so we're going to just say web view um, our browser our browse something like that and again, we're just going to say uh, find oops, a web view here, find view by ID, and then we're just going to say r.id.r browser. Was that an r browser? Oh, yeah, it was a, uh, a web view r browser. Um, web view browser there and now what we can do is let's say we just want to have our initial uh, web view to load up um, like for example my site we could say our browser or our brow dot uh, load and we can either load data which would be like written in uh, HTML or we can say load URL so we can just go load URL and then within quotations we're going to say HTTP forward slash forward slash www dot my bring back dot com and uh, in quotations and that should load up just like my website uh, when we run our application so let's just check it out um, so basically all we've created is a web view and we've learned about this uh, method called load URL so that's pretty much it for this tutorial we kind of set up everything um, and again you guys need permission for the internet so 
Oh, I forgot to add it to the menu class here. So in the next tutorial, we'll learn a little bit, uh, a few more methods we can use for this web view um, type object. But let's just make sure we check out our simple browser. We click on it. Um, as of now, nothing is there. And then we're hopefully going to get this to load. Yeah, it's loading my website right here. And obviously, it's uh, you can you can still pan around, get everything going there and it's fully functional so I will catch you guys in the next tutorial um, have a good one peace